Now to Kalamazoo. Tonight we're learning new information about the suspect in the shooting death of a 17-year-old, Dimitrian Hagler. And we're talking with the boy's grandmother who witnessed the whole thing this afternoon. And 24 Hour News 817 has been on top of this story since it happened. And he joins us live tonight from Kalamazoo with the new developments. Evan? Yeah, Brian and Marley, we're in the 1400 block of Lane Boulevard, the home you see right behind me. That is where the shooting happened. But first, we want to get to some new information. We have confirmed through online Michigan State Police records that the suspect is 53-year-old Bruce Embry. He has been arrested and booked in the county jail on a charge of felony homicide. Tonight, we talked with Embry's wife, Tamitrion's grandmother, who's absolutely devastated. It was just hours ago when she says she witnessed her husband shoot and kill her grandson. What was going through your head when you saw this happen? I couldn't believe it. I was, I was all done when he shot him. I dropped over him. And then he, my husband put the gun on me. And I told him, don't shoot him no more. Shoot me. A horrific scene unfolding right in front of Iquilla Heckler, her grandson, who she'd raised herself, now dead. Her husband, now behind bars, arrested on a charge of felony homicide. What was this all over? Something about him hearing him say something to another female over the phone. She says it started with an argument and that Dimitrion had apparently overheard Embry talking with another woman over the phone. She says it escalated and that's when Embry turned violent and shot and killed her grandson. Senseless. It was nothing because my grandson never did anything to him. Was always there for him when he needed him. He's never disrespected him in no way at all. As police searched the home this afternoon, Dimitrion's family members, many in tears, clutched each other, mourning the loss of the teen taken far too soon. He was a student at Lloyd Norris High School. Friends and family say he loved sports and that he wanted to go to college to be an athletic trainer. Most of all, they say he was just a great kid. He was the type of grandson that any grandmother would love to have. He would give you his shirt off his back. He would do anything you asked him to do. Now, we did uncover Embry's criminal history. He is a registered sex offender. He was convicted of fourth degree criminal sexual conduct back in 1998 and also has convictions dating back to the 80s for misdemeanor assault and felony larceny. He will likely be arraigned on the felony homicide charge later this week. We're live in Kalamazoo tonight. Evan Dean, 24 Hour News 8. Wow, Evan, it is just so sad to hear from that grandmother and all that she had to witness today. Did she say anything about how long that Embry has been in the family, how long she was married to him, maybe how long he knew her grandson? She did not elaborate much specifically on the length of their relationship. Obviously, she was very upset. She agreed to talk with us for a short period of time, but she did say uh, tonight that she wants nothing to do with Embry and she hopes that he is prosecuted to the fullest extent. Marley. No surprise there. Yeah. Evan Dean reporting. Thank you, Evan.